Hello everyone, in this lecture we are just going to see what are the hardware and software components required for this Arduino programming course and this course is specially meant for beginners in embedded systems. Starting with our development board, we are just going to use the Arduino Uno development board throughout this course and this seems to be a very tiny board but it has a powerful Atmega 328 microcontroller so you can build any sophisticated embedded application with this Arduino Uno and let us discuss the various components available in this Arduino Uno and here is the power jack that is available for providing the power for Arduino Uno and most oftenly we will be using 12 volt 1 amps adapter for powering up this power jack and here is the 16 MHz onboard crystal oscillator which is used for providing clock source for the Atmega328 Arduino microcontroller. So this Arduino microcontroller can operate at a maximum speed of 16 MHz. So here is the USB port that is used for connecting this Arduino Uno development board to the PC through USB cable. And this port is used for uploading the program to this Arduino microcontroller as well as for using the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE. And this is the reset button of the Arduino Uno and this button whenever it is pressed will be resetting the program that is running in the Arduino microcontroller. That is wherever the line of the program is currently available whenever you press this button the program will be starting from the beginning. So this is the ICSP programmer IC which is used for uploading the program to your Arduino microcontroller. And on the right of the Arduino Uno you can see this 14 pins starting from digital pin 0 to digital pin 13. And these are the digital input output pins that is available in your Arduino Uno. And you can use all these 14 pins either as digital output or digital input. And on the left of the Arduino Uno development board, you can see this A0 to A5 totally 6 pins. These A0 to A5 are nothing but analog pins of the Arduino Uno and they are used for fetching analog signals. And if these pins are not configured as analog pins, they can also be used as digital IOs. In addition to all these things, we have an LED available in the Arduino Uno which is internally connected to digital pin 13 of Arduino Uno and you can use this LED for demonstration purpose. And regarding the software components, we are just going to use the only software Arduino IDE which is available for free in the internet and the link for that software is provided in the description of this video and you can click on the link and you can go to that site and you can download it free of cost. So that's all about the hardware and software components that we are going to use in this course and we will see in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.